Hi, Mark Robito, product manager with R&D here. Recently, while fabricating some brake lines on the Monte Carlo I'm working on, had the opportunity to uh, compare Eastwood's new double flare tool against the competition. Watch how easily this thing makes some quality flares and brake line. We're going to use one of these flare tools here. You've probably seen this. Uh, you can get them pretty much anywhere. We're going to try one of these out. 316. Put it in our 316 hole. That doesn't, doesn't look like it's marked correctly. 5 8 hole looks like the 316. So they say in the directions to have it up a specified amount. And now let's try these out. And the easiest way is just clamp this guy. And then go ahead and flare. That. Here's what you're going to get with your budget flare tool. And looking at it right now, we know that that's unacceptable because that's not even a double flare. Look at that. I wouldn't want those stress induced risers there at all on a brake line. Plus, look at the cone. Yeah. This isn't even good for a. Uh, a water uh, filtration thing under your sink so I don't know maybe what we can do is save this and make some lead sinkers or something like that but that's that here's what you want this is what you want here this is the Eastwood brake flaring tool this is a professional tool here uh, some of the flares it can do there's your standard 45 single very easy to use. Set up the mount again in a vise. Quick easy setup. And what it uses is uh, these different die blocks. This is set up for 316. This is our line. So these are the die blocks. This is the, the beauty of this tool. Your line lays in here and is sandwiched between these die blocks. Just set this. This thing will self adjust exactly where you want the line. Go ahead and tighten. Double check. Alright, now we got a 316 line, so we use what's called Operation 1, OP1. Always, always, always lubricate. Never use anything other than brake fluid. Why would you use any other type of oil and risk uh, cross-contamination on here? So what I like to do is just get a little bit of it, just go right onto the die there. Now what you're lubricating with is the exact brake fluid that's going to be in the system. And then simply, this is great, once you pull to the stop, go to operation 2, 316 operation 2, right here, again, give it a little splash lubricant, oh, spin it around. Now let's check that out. That's the flare you're looking for. That's exactly what you want. Now this is the started one. A bunch of you guys are probably thinking, Oh, you never put the flare nut on. Well, look at this. This is the first one. So we just take our flare nut.
we know what size we're using for the master cylinder. And look at that. That's what you want.